riding an elephant through a, a field of roses with thorns on them. Think about that. Right? Like for me, not for you. For me, it was like riding an elephant. So. So Fang is gonna Fang is gonna be Fang now. So do you want to? Uh, let's give it up to this is James Meager. Yeah. This is Ben Brown. Yeah. I'm Bart Radler, and this is a song written from the point of view of hipsters. And if you feel like yelling, the thing to yell is hipsters playing sports. Let's take tonight to cheer for that. Um, I want to just, I want to, 
This is my uh, pop song, my accordion pop song about divorce, or our Fanny's accordion pop song about divorce. I wanted to be the first on the records to write one. I think I might be. And, uh... this by saying that this is written kind of like to 14 year olds so it's really angsty and shit and my parents are here or like my dad's here and I just want like and uh, some of our parents are here and we just like we want to say that um maybe when we were 14 we were this angsty now we're less angsty so don't worry everything's okay but a uh, pop song isn't a good pop song if it doesn't have some angst in it so to all our 14 year old selves this is for you
anti uh, our song that we wrote to fight back against crime next, but I thought it'd be a good time to introduce the roles of the men. Who here has been to 1067 before? Show of hands? Who, who, uh, who is coming here for the first time? A round of applause, a few people? Nice, welcome, it's a pretty cool space, hey? Yeah? Okay, so the, I'll, I'll just explain how it works, kind of, or to the best of my understanding is there's a collective that runs this place as kind of like a private uh, private practice area and a place where they can put on shows and do basically whatever they want musically, which is pretty fucking rad. And uh, in a city where there, it's really hard to find venues, it's pretty amazing of them to have a space and to be willing to give it to us for this night. So the deal is, is uh, we have to be kind of like, we have to treat this kind of like it's a house party that happens to be in the middle of darkest Gramble Street. So, amazing, right? So outside there's like, I don't know, the Roxy and whatever, and people, um, I don't know, uh, shaking their bums, which is very nice, and we encourage bum shaking here too. But here we have this like nice little enclave of house party ethics. So there are some like, some things we can do to keep this place from shutting down, and that, uh, I made a list of rules just because it would, it was kind of fun to, to make a list of rules. I know, but um, I can't even read them. But basically, please don't drink or smoke in the alley, because that's when the cops will come and find out that there, you know, this exists and shut it down. So please don't, like seriously, don't drink in the alley. If you smoke in the alley, maybe go smoke in front of some other venue, like go smoke in front of the Roxy or something, and then they'll, you know, like, they'll, it's fine. They're, like, they're, they're happy to have you smoke there. You can, I don't know, it makes them look cool. It makes us look shut down. Um, when you want to get back in, you can just ring the doorbell, and then people will let you in. So don't, please don't wedge the door open because that looks kind of suspicious too. This is nice. This is making me sound like a real asshole to have a... Uh, please don't lose the bathroom key. We only have one. Yeah, please don't lose the bathroom key. Otherwise, the bathroom will be done. Go, 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 go. Okay, here's, here's my favorite one. Don't have beer if you're a minor. If you do, I'll fucking kill you. Don't have beer if you're a minor. If you do, I'll fucking kill you.
with attitude, as if you were in spandex. <laughs> in a field with like your arm around the tractor and uh, that's it. So
I made absolutely no sense at all, but it was pleasurable in my head. Tractors, fuck. Okay, so but, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to admit to things. So I'm going to say things like, uh, who ate the apple from the tree? And you guys are going to yell back guiltily, pleasurably, that was me, that was me. But it's going to get more intense, it'll get more uh, rocket. Who ate the apple from the tree? Amazing, you apple eaters. Can we take care of some of that? Is that possible? No? Hey, everyone give it up for Matt on sound. He's doing a great job. He's working. Oh!
to me to retire another song from Night Shows. I think we might do it in high school, so if you feel like waking up at 9 a.m. and coming to see Fang perform at a, in a gymnasium, you might see this again, but I don't think we're going to do any more Night Shows. This is, uh, oh man, this song, so many memories. This is about bears. And, uh, the audience, your job is, I'm going to do this little part, I'm going to go, hey, oh, 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 hey. And then I'm gonna yell bear. So you guys obviously yell bear in there. So let's try that. Hey, bear, hey, bear. bear. And then, then I'm gonna ask you a question, obvious answer. I'm gonna ask, do you wanna ride this bear? Yes. Yes. Yeah, but it's rhythmic as riding a bear would be. So here we go. Do you wanna ride this bear? Yes. Let's try that again. Do you wanna ride this bear? their own conversation with That's amazing. I've been thinking about riding a bear all day.
the best bear. You guys want to pick the best bear? Yeah. Okay. So I'm mildly enthusiastic about that. You guys want to hear a bear solo? Yeah. Let's go first with Ben Brown, classic bear. Here we go. Ben Brown, everyone! 
come out to Soma. If you, uh, I don't, uh, hey, it's our EP release, so you can buy our EPs. There's something really exciting about our EPs is uh, we hate fucking, we hate plastic, so we didn't put out uh, jewel cases that would end up under your bed or in a landfill. We put out uh, digital download cards, so you buy a piece of paper, but what's cool is that uh, you're not only buying a piece of paper, you're buying a one-of-a-kind pouch. A fang pouch. Yeah. Which you can use to put stuff in, whatever you need to put into a pouch. And the, uh, the fan card also doubles as a cat toy. There are instructions in the pouch on how to make it into a cat toy. And we're running a contest for who can have the best cat toy video. There are prizes. We're getting people to donate amazing prizes. So uh, buy an EP. They're only 10 bucks. Get a cat toy. It's really like a cat toy and an EP for 10 bucks. That's a good deal.
the therapy choir. You guys, thank you very much. So we're gonna take a short break. We're gonna make some more popcorn. Stick around for therapy. They're uh, they've got their own music. It's fucking fantastic. So stick around. There's gonna be more music. Thank you very much.